Hi everyone, I hope you're having a really good day today. The story I'm going to read now is called Not Quite Narwhal. Now I don't know if you know what a narwhal is, but a narwhal is a type of whale that lives in the ocean and it has a really big horn at the top of its head. Do you know any other animals have big horns on their head? Hmm. Not Quite Narwhal, written by Jesse Seema. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. There's baby kelp. He knew that he was different from the other narwhals. He had different tastes in food. Looks like the narwhals like to eat squid. But kelp doesn't like to eat squid. Maybe he likes to eat spaghetti. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't either. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. Currents in the ocean are really strong and they can bring you far away. I wish I were a better swimmer, he said. Kelp found him at the surface closer to land than he had ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like kelp. There's the mysterious creature. What do you think it is? Kelp swam toward land as fast as he could which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he could catch up with a creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. He had never left the ocean before. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creatures made it look so easy. It wasn't. Now it looks here like he's trying to walk like a crab, which would be really silly because he'd be walking sideways. And here he is trying to hop like a frog. Hmm, I wonder if you can walk like a crab or hop like a frog too after you read the book. Eventually he got the hang of it. Here he is walking like a turtle. Turtles kind of walk like kelp does on four legs. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him. But he, as he stumbled out of the forest, land narwhals, that he calls them land narwhals, actually were unicorns. And by the looks of it, so are you. Oh, that's what he is. He's a unicorn. They have horns on their head too, just like narwhals. Kelp had never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. Hmm. We call them horns. Wow. They introduced him to unicorn delicacies. Now delicacies can be things they like to eat. It looks like they like to eat snow cones, which are really cold like ice cream. And they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was, in fact, a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly. So he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Kelp swam toward home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. He was feeling really nervous. 
Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the news. It turns out I'm a narwhal. Of course you aren't. Well, he says, it turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you aren't. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. They were really happy to see him. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. But then he realized that maybe, just maybe, He didn't have to choose. So it looks like all the unicorns and narwhals are spending time together on the beach. Oh, in this page, there's a rhinoceros and he says, I'm a unicorn. In the unicorn kelp, he's saying, um, the end. I wonder if you guys can try walking like a crab sideways, or hopping like a frog, or galloping like a unicorn, just like kelp was.